James, can you pass me the Yoshi? Yeah. Did you hear that? You're welcome. Dora Mar, painter, poet, and most notably, photographer. Excuse me, what? Yoshi, Yoshi. <laughs> Get fucked. However, some might say she was actually most known for her noteworthy life. At the time of the Wall Street crash of 1929, Mar was on the streets, capturing the devastating effects wait. of poverty and- Oh wait, is, is this like a rehearsal? You know, like, for your photography, like, video final thing? Because cause I was working on mine right now, if you were... James, wrong lines, man. You say that after I'm done talking about how she changed her name. Dora Mar adopted her new pseudonym when... Is this a rehearsal? Like, for your video photography final? Because I was working on mine right now. Right on cue. Wait a minute. People know of Dora Mar through her connection with Pablo Picasso. She was one of his muses and mistresses. And many don't realize the impact she had on the Excuse me. Dora Mar lifted Picasso out of, quote, the worst time of his life, end quote. She created alongside him in an inspirational collaboration. Duck? Duck? Huh? Duck? Uh, okay. Uh, Mar also documented Picasso's exploits as a witness, most famously photographing his progress of the painting Guernica. Uh, um, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so, um, uh, um, hang on. Uh, um, uh, um, right here, uh, James? Wait a second, Wait, um, there's, what? Reese's Pieces? Oh yeah, thanks. Oh wait, why are we here now? Like many photographers at the time, Dora Mar started out focusing on the poverty in her city. Um, hey, excuse um, me. Duck, move out of the way. What do you mean? In the 1930s. Excuse me. In the 1930s, Dora Mar set up her studio with the help of her father. She partnered with fellow photographer Pierre Kiefer and focused largely on advertising and fashion. <laughs> what was that? Uh, actually... Whoa. Hey, buddy. Chum. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you doing with that script there, pal? And, uh... I think they work. He's gone. Uh, <clears throat> so, as I was saying, Dora Mar really started to make a name for herself out of her studio, doing commercial work. Even this early in her photographic career, Mar was already experimenting with many surrealist techniques, like implementing shadows and mirror images. See here. Mar soon mastered the photo montage. As you can see right here, uh, her most notable pieces being her series of gelatin silver works, like this mastery led her to explore many other artistic mediums like poetry and painting. What's also incredibly interesting is Mars' involvement with politics at the time. Did you hear that? What do you mean? Uh, never mind. Um, Okay, where was I? Uh, oh, what's also incredibly interesting is Mars' involvement with politics at the time. 
She was actively involved. Actively in involved in many organizations, like the Union, the Union of Intellectuals Against Fascism, the Masses, and October. How did Reese's you... Pieces? Uh, sure. Thank you. A particularly interesting quote by Dora Maar to conclude. The street has changed so much, don't you think? It's more extravagant, but at the same time, it's not interesting anymore. It's banal. What are you, what are you typing? Thank you for attending my presentation on Dora Maar and some of her surrealist works and her history as a photographer and an artist in general. Um, unfortunately, nobody.